The trip operon is composed of all the promoters, operators, and genes responsible for expressing the enzymes that an E. coli cell needs to make the amino acid tryptophan from other molecules. It is a repressible operon, which means that the genes are normally on, but can be repressed by the activity of a molecule called a repressor. It makes sense that the genes are normally on because, as we know from earlier lessons, every single protein machine made in a living cell requires all 20 amino acids. Situation 1. When tryptophan is absent in the E. coli cell, the E. coli cell will have to make tryptophan from precursor molecules. Therefore, RNA polymerase binds to the promoter of the trip repressor and transcribes the inactive trip repressor. Then RNA polymerase binds to the promoter of the tryptophan operon and transcribes the genes trip E, trip D, trip C, trip B, and trip A. These genes code for proteins that make enzymes that build tryptophan. The trip repressor and all of the trip enzyme genes will go on to be translated into proteins. Situation 2, when tryptophan is present in the cell. As in situation 1, RNA polymerase will bind the promoter of the trip repressor and transcribe the inactive trip repressor. It will be translated into the trip repressor protein. However, in this situation, Tryptophan, since it's present in the cell, will bind the trip repressor protein. The now active trip repressor protein will bind the trip operator. The trip repressor bound to the tryptophan operator prevents the binding of RNA polymerase to the trip promoter, and the trip operon enzymes are not transcribed into mRNA nor are they translated into TRIP enzymes.